in the Milky Way. Oh. Yeah, we're, doing all right. we're doing just fine. We're gonna win a Grammy. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. These MF Doom licensed beats. Yeah, that's the problem with game. Shut like, the fuck up. <laughs> And I so aggressive. Oh. You're on Facebook. Yeah, I know I am because uh, I think your grandpa just uh, resurfaced. Oh, he shared Yay! that picture of us. How many times? Just one. Okay, uh, just there, one. Well, that was he shared that one about four times. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I love your grandpa. Yeah, he doesn't understand how the internet works. I don't know how he gets to the share button. I told another press he says I'm not. And I'm like, you are. <laughs> You're one hundred percent are. You have to be. Oh, hi there. Welcome to this episode of the Fireside Chats. I'm Angelo. I'm Josh. I'm not in my chair. So <laughs> I'm Ian. Yeah. And I'm uh I'm me. <laughs> oh, I don't like how this is starting. <laughs> oh, this is kind of already. This feels like because I feel like I'm looking at you guys like in your direction. It looks like you're on the same like plane, mm -hmm. and so it kind of feels like a counseling session. Like yeah. you guys are on the same like. Can you asking can for help? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I think we are. I always get scared of you guys help? breaking up on camera with us. That'd be. Oh, oh, guys! I have a good subject. The nominee is for the 69th. Wink. Primetime Emmy Awards. Let's take a look, guys. I don't watch a lot of TV. Uh, let's look at television. 16... I don't give a fuck. Nine. Masters of Sex is gonna win this year. Uh, outstanding it's comedy so series. Nine. Let's let's Master run through. Uh, Atlanta, Blackish, Master of None, Woo! Modern Family, Silicon Valley, Kimmy Schmidt, Woo! and Veep. I hope Master of None. Modern wins. Family. I like Kimmy Schmidt a lot, and I like Master of None. Uh, Modern Family is actually Kimmy still Schmidt really good. Too. Atlanta. Atlanta should win. Donald Glover is a genius. That movie is so great. old. The one of the, when they go to Atlantis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Disney movie? Yeah. yeah. That, they turned that into a comedy show. And that's yeah, Donald Glover action. wrote mm -hmm. the, the Atlantis, The Lost Empire. I'm just really now. against them nominating stuff that's that old. Who does he right. play? Oh, that's fine. That's why I don't think they should no, nominate... So. Um, he plays the princess. Anyone oh. over the age of 65. They should be so, Princess Rowan. Okay, so Modern Family's gonna win that one. So, <laughs> Outstanding Drama Series... We have Better Call Saul, Woo! The Crown, Handmaid's Tale, House of Cards, Stranger Things, Woo! This Is Us, Woo! and Westworld. Westworld! 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 Alright, so we're pulling for Westworld. This Is Us really good, though? I haven't seen Westworld yet. Westworld is better than Game of Thrones. I wouldn't... Your ass is better than Game of Thrones. You're Hell yeah! Game of Thrones. Yeah, this is me! Okay, so I would not be upset if Westworld, Stranger Things... Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Or Better Call Saul. Those three, If I, I would be happy with any of them. I'm going for Veep. That was, that was in the putting all the money category. on me. All right, uh, outstanding. I still think La La Land can pull it off. I think it can. All right, the limited series, uh, Big Little Lies. Who knows? Everything Ian says to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fargo, which has a three seasons, so I don't know how it's a limited series. Uh, Feud, Genius, and The Night of. I've heard good things about The Night of. That was like hot, popular for a hot minute. Yeah, and it on, disappeared. on HBO with John Turturro and Liz yeah. Ahmed. I West heard some good things. I didn't watch it. I watched Feud. I watched Fargo. I didn't see Genius. So. I'm not good at this because I haven't seen a lot of I watch Family Feud all the time. I'm going to go with Fargo on this one. Good yeah, luck, Noah Hawley. Yeah, I'll go with Fargo. Yeah, Family Outs Feud. Outstanding. Steve Harvey deserves it. He really does. I'm yeah. not arguing. Uh, outstanding lead actress in a drama series. She's so, Viola Davis. She's great. Claire Foy from The Crown. Not sure who that is. Carrie Russell from The Americans. That's the one right there, baby. Ever Rachel Wood from That's Westworld. The one. Also that. Robin Wright from House of Cards. Mm -hmm. That's a great category. I like his song uh, that you did. Who? Robin Wright. What's the song? Uh, if you, uh, what is that song? <laughs> that was offensive. I yeah, the blurred line. Yeah, that one. I know you oh, yeah, he's really. Yeah, I like that song. That's weird. He's going into TV now. I like that song when it came that, out. I'm sad about that, that. Women like that song so much that they allowed him to be in the lead actress. Kind yeah, of he was a yeah. feminist icon after Blurred Lines came out. After he cheated on his wife, feminist icon. <laughs> <laughs> and then he released a whole album and it's like a sorry. I'm album. sorry for cheating on you. And he, it's like her name is in it. It's baby, really creepy. Did she ever take him back? Can you look no, it up? Absolutely. No, absolutely. I know for a fact she did not. 
Look up, did Robin Williams' wife take him back? Not the person you think. Rooney that... Mara's wife, did he take him back? Uh, Kate Blanchett and Carol? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'd be happy with anybody can in that you category. Can you give me a favor? Sterling K. Brown is a nominee in the next category? Do you, yeah. Can you look up who that is? Yeah, that dudes. Uh-oh. Hold on. I gotcha. Sterling K. I can't, I don't know what character he plays. Oh he's, oh, he's he's great. He is great in This Is Us. He's de as Christopher Darden in People vs. OJ. He was awesome. You should watch This Is Us. You'd like This Is Us. No, I don't like cable. I don't like, I don't like regular cable shows, but it's really good. Okay, so here in the next, he is fantastic and he deserves it. So name. outstanding lead actor in a drama series: Sterling um, K. Brown, yes, Anthony Hopkins in Westworld, baby. Yeah. Uh, Bob Odenkirk. Whoa, born in the same hospital. As Matthew me. Reeves from The Americans should be that, but it won't. Uh, Kevin Spacey in House of Cards. Bob Odenkirk birthed you, honestly. True. I'd be Both happy. from Berwyn, Illinois. Yeah, he reached in, mm -hmm. grabbed you, pulled you. Yeah. <laughs> he did. Oh, that's no gloves. Bruce. And he, he was the doctor in the yeah, He didn't know. He hadn't cut his nails in a long time. No, he just came in. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd be happy with anybody in that category winning except for Kevin Spacey. Why? I am done with Kevin Spacey. Really? Have he, you not seen Baby Driver? After seeing Baby Driver, I was... Baby Driver is literally Frank Underwood without an accent. And I was like, that is phoning it in, man. I, I'm i kind of getting tired of the Kevin Spacey character. Have you I, seen I, Fred Claus? I, I want to see... <laughs> <laughs> I am not, you know? Oh, I've seen Did you see Nine Lives? No. He was great in Nine yeah. Lives. Yeah, I, I, I have think, that on I think Fred Claus is the origin of that character. I have that on Voodoo. Voodoo yeah. music. Uh, it's movie. on my Crackle account. So, <laughs> <laughs> next to Joe No Dirt one too. has that. Anyway, uh, supporting, uh, outstanding supporting actor in a drama series, Jonathan Banks, Better Call Saul. Oh, of course. Uh, David Harbour in Stranger Things, who plays oh, the sheriff. Oh, of course. Oh, really yeah, good. he's great. Uh, Ron... He's playing Hellboy? Yeah, he's playing uh, Hellboy. Ron Cephas Jones. You look up John C. Riley From This Is Us. You yeah. don't know any of the actors on the show no, that you watch? I know the main two. Uh, John C. Um, Riley. Cephas. I spelled that really wrong. <laughs> he is the best part of the show. Oh, he's on... Um... John C. Riley. Yeah. Isn't he on, like... John C. Riley. He's excellent. He's on, like, Daredevil or something. Oh, shit, is he? <laughs> yeah. He's one of... He's in... He looks like that, Mr. So he looks nothing like how he normally does. He's in Luke Cage. Uh, yeah, that's great, right. by the way. He's the old man from... Oh, Asia. sorry, yeah. I don't... I don't... Oh, he is. Is complain he really? about complain about my podcasting ability. No, it's uh, no one can see it. I can't even see it. Oh, oh, we're just looking. We'll at put up yeah. a picture on the thing. For Good us. point, yeah. Ian. Yeah, you're putting up a picture. That's what I mean. Is like we need to like okay, we need so, to see what we're seeing. So the rest of eyes. the supporting actor, um, Michael Kelly from House of Cards, who plays Stamper, uh, John Lithgow in The Crown, of course, Mandy Patinkin from Homeland, and Jeffrey Wright who plays Charles in Westworld. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. Okay, continue. <laughs> really good. Uh, Mr. Charlie. Charles? I want, bit my finger once. I want Charles him. bit my finger. I, de I think Charlie. either him or David Harbour should win. Yeah, David Charles. Harbour deserves a little... Really? Uh, I'm sorry, I keep looking ahead. Outstanding supporting actress Uzo Duba in Orange is the New Black. Crazy eyes. Uh, Anne Dowd in The Handmaid's Tale oh, plays the evil... Oh, you I'm sorry. Uh, Millie, Millie Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Dude, she's up for an Emmy? Yeah. Good for her. That's yeah. badass. That'd be cool if she won. She's but, 13. Uh, yeah, she's eight years old. I gotta say... She's four? Mm-hmm. <gasps> she was just born. <gasps> hold on, hold on. Anne Dowd from The Handmaid's Tale. She also plays for Leftovers fans. She plays um, the Guilty Remnant leader. Um, I forget her name, like Paula or something. Oh, of course, is yeah. that a typo? She's really good. Chrissy Metz from This Dolphin's Is Us. Dolphin's Tale. Dolphin's Tale. <laughs> Who is this person in This Is Us? Couldn't tell you. Can you look okay, that up? Okay, let's look that up. So every Great show. show. Can we just go to the... Classes? I don't think he's ever seen This Is Actually, show. I might stop watching the show because it makes me really <laughs> depressed. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, she's not watching it. She's it's great. really good. Yeah. It's a really great show, but it makes me depressed. I haven't seen her in anything else. Uh, Thandy Newton, in Westworld. <laughs> yep. And then Samira Wiley from The Handmaid's Tale. Which... I think if you show your nipple on television, you deserve to. Uh, yeah, so Thandy deserves everything. Absolutely. That's not. It's not TV. It's HBO. Ding. Outstanding. It's not pizza. It's DiGiorno. It's Ding. Not, <laughs> it's not. It's not delivery. It's yeah. not pizza. <laughs> <laughs> It's not pizza. This is not pizza. <laughs> Let's be very clear. This is DiGiorno. It is not pizza in any so way. If, if you don't like it, hey, you can't compare it to pizza. It's, it's not, not pizza. It's really not pizza. No, they, it's a legal warning. This is not pizza. <laughs> Do you remember? So they started packaging with pizzas, like frozen, like 
chicken wing tenders with it. But literally, legally, they had to spell it W-Y-N-G-Z, wings, because they weren't made of the same, <laughs> like, chicken material as, like, other chicken wing That's products. Sketchy. Yeah, That's... look that up. That's real. <laughs> Outstanding lead actor in a comedy series, Anthony Anderson in Blackish, Aziz Ansari, Master of None. Woo! Woo! Zach Galifianakis in Baskets, which Woo! is great for him. Uh, Donald Glover in Atlanta. Woo! William H. Macy in Shameless. Uh, and Jeffrey Tambor in Transparent. Woo! Also I could be good. I've heard of like, Transparent. It's an Amazon. It's an Amazon show. It's pretty, I've heard it's pretty I like good. Jeffrey Tambor. That's the fun fact about that show. Um, in the newest season of Arrested Development, they were going to turn him into a woman, I'm pretty sure. I read oh, that somewhere. But since he... But since he plays oh. in Transparent, a trans woman. That sounds like an Arrested Development plot. Yeah. So they couldn't do that. It's kind of like how they cut the whole, um, what's his name, being a black man. Oh, yeah. Uh, to buy it. Mm -hmm. It's that he's a blue man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they talk about, like, he, uh, a big black man. He's like, hey, I'm not big. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'd be happy. I want Donald Glover to win that. I think Donald mm -hmm. Glover deserves it. He's really funny. He's been a writer, a good writer for a while. I don't think they'll give it to him because he's a rapper also. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Which is sad, but he should get it. He's raking in all that Spider-Man money. Uh, outstanding, and he's Han Solo. I mean, wait, no, he's Lando Calrissian. If that movie he's Han right. Solo. That'd be amazing. That would be so fucking cool. <laughs> everyone's, like, Donald everyone's like, oh, he doesn't look, that guy doesn't look that much like Han Solo. And so he just cast Donald, Donald Glover. Glover. And so he's like, okay. Oh, fine, you fuckers don't think he looks enough <laughs> like her anymore? <laughs> Donald Glover. Pamela okay. Anderson, Better Things. Hold on, things. hold on. Outstanding lead actress in the comedy series, Pat, Pamela Adlon from Better Things. Who, Jeff she's Gordon very funny. from Grace and Frankie. Jane Fonda from Grace and Allison Frankie. Allison June from Moon. Allison Janney from Mom. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> uh, Ellie Kemper from uh, Breakable Kimmy Schmidt. Julia Louis Dreyfus from Veep. She's great. Hilarious. Why are you jacking off Hasn't she won like, the most Emmys? Yeah, I think so. For from Julia? Because Veep. What was that thing? It's, I'm pretty sure it's ever. It might be. Really? She has like oh for Seinfeld has, and stuff too I guess. Well, right? Veep has been on for like seven seasons. Well, she's and it's consistently the funniest show on television. She's had like a TV show like that's awesome since Seinfeld. Because she win anything for New Adventures of Old Christine? That's what yeah. I was gonna say. Did she win anything for that? Oh, I'm yeah. not. I'm, I'm really at a loss because that show got canceled. Conversation. I'm finally in, and you're out in the dogs. Yeah, yeah, so you like got yes. him. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Tracy Ellis Ross from Blackish. She's also very funny. Lily Tomlin, classic in Grace and Frankie. Lily Thompson. Lally Thompson, hopefully she wins. Outstanding supporting actor in a comedy Louis series. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. <laughs> Louis Anderson from It's Basket. me, Louis Anderson. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. Alec Baldwin in Saturday Night Live. Just for the Trump impression? <sighs> Jesus Christ, please don't let him win that. Ty uh, Burrell Ty from... Hold on, Titus Burgess from Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Burgess, right. Titus Andromeda. Ty Burrell Titus from... Andromeda. I still think Ty Burrell Donna is the dead. supremely funny. Modern Family is great. Dawn of the Dead. Tony Hale and Veep, and then Matt Walsh from Veep. So two characters from Veep. Yeah, so she holds several records for most primetime Emmy Award wins and nominations. This is That's Julia crazy. Louis Dreyfus. This is Louis Armstrong. You're being super confused. <laughs> Do you see Angelo? Do you see Angelo and derailing the podcast when he's not involved? No, I want to just. I just think about how I could bludgeon myself in the, with objects in the room. Outstanding I'll supporting actress in a comedy series. Vanessa Bayer, Saturday Night Live. She's very funny. Anna Ch Chlumsky from Veep. Another very funny one. I'd be woman. born with that name. Uh, right. Catherine Hahn. Hey, Chlumsky, get over here. Anna, <laughs> disgusting name. Am I right? <laughs> what? Wait, what? I missed that bit. I couldn't No. Hear. Sorry, I was playing. I like to imagine. Uh, Catherine Hahn from Transparent. Leslie Jones from Saturday Night Live. Judith Light from Transparent. Kate McKinnon, I Saturday Kate Night McKinnon. Live. Kate McKinnon. Too many Facebook. SNL, uh, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. It's a good season. Outstanding lead actor in a limited series or movie. <sighs> Riz Ahmed from The Night Of. They won't give it to him because he's a rapper, too. Little in fact. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Sherlock. Woo! Woo! Robert De Niro and... Only an okay season, anyway. But sorry, carry on. What? It's like, what? Did I say Cumberbatch him? Back or something. Oh, well, fuck his name, anyway. Robert De Niro, Wizard of Lies. You and McGregor. The Cumber Bitches? Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. I don't like Benedict Cumberbatch. He was Smaug. I think I read somewhere he said some really fucked up shit one time. Yeah, but, but that's he, how cool did he sound when he so said it? So I think she has he nine. He sounded very cool. I think she has nine wins. That's all. You're still on Julie Louis Dreyfus. Yeah, it's way past that. We're on Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> now. You know who wouldn't have made the mistake, I'm Ron? Sorry. I miss Ron. Too bad he died. <laughs> I didn't throw it. I dropped yeah. it. Oh, he'll throw mine too. No. 
I right. would, and I'd throw it. Uh, Ewan McGregor from Fargo, Jeffrey Rush in Genius, and John Turturro from The Night Of. I'd like John Turturro to win something because I think he's funny. It's Totoro, actually. I'm right next the, to the uh, <laughs> to the robots' John testicles. Totoro. Yeah. Or scrotum. Yeah. The enemy scrotum. And doesn't <laughs> doesn't <laughs> remember that one time that Bumblebee pees on him and, and he pee, Bumblebee like pees on him? You remember when Bumblebee I'm right pees next to the him? enemy scrotum. Okay, so you remember that movie pretty well? Obviously. Do you want to reenact the two little robots? You start Oh, off. I don't think uh, you do. Just keep no, they're fun. Up. They're just robots. They can't be racist. You go. Oh, it relates to the. Uh, I just, I just want to get to this one specifically. Lead actress in a limited series, Carrie Coon in Fargo. She should win every award because she's great. The rest of Felicity Huffman, Nicole Kidman, Jessica Lange, uh, Susan Sarandon, and Reese Witherspoon are the rest. But Carrie Coon should win. There's more, but I don't think we want to talk about it anymore. No, it's okay. I really just, I wasn't trying to derail. I was trying yeah. to confuse people. I just don't think we're the vibe is right. So it's because I'm let's over just here. Be let's just be. Done. I mean, if you were in different places, yeah. it would be better. I'll move. No, I'm kidding. I don't want you to. <laughs> no, I don't want to get up. <laughs> yeah, I like it, actually. <laughs> uh, it's the principle. Let's scroll down. Uh, I was standing variety talk series. Full Frontal with Samantha B, Jimmy Kimmel, John uh, Oliver, horse. James Corden, Stephen Colbert, Bill Maher. So, wait. So John Oliver, I think. John Oliver. Oliver's the best. I think he'll win, though. I... That'd be great Samantha Bee's really funny. She's underrated. Really, she is. I think her show's but she's not John Oliver. She's a wolf. Yeah, that's true. She won't win. Uh, James Corden is not funny. So He's fine. Car Carl Procat. I Carl like his carpool. He's I love fine. Him the <sighs> Outstanding variety sketch series. If not in Practical Jokers? Billy on the Street! Billy on the Street. Documentary Now. Documentary Now is so funny. What do we got to do to get in Practical Jokers? In Drunk it? History, Portlandia, Saturday Night Live. No, and no, Tracy Ullman shows, which I've never heard of. Yeah, I've never heard of. But Documentary Now or Billy on the Street? I feel you now. Billy on the Street. If Billy, Billy on, on the Street. Billy on the Street. I don't care. Ooh, Outstanding Structured Reality Program. Antiques Roadshow, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives. Fixer Upper, Lip Sync Battle, fuck that. Fuck that. Sar Shark Tank, or who do you think you are? No, Big Shark Brother? Tank's gonna win. They must have forgotten Big Brother. Yeah, Big Brother's not on there. So uh, Diners, I'm gonna go with Diners, Drive, and Some Dives. On yeah, that's not your favorite yeah. show. Guy Fieri, baby! Boom, 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 boom. <gasps> match Game? Oh. Up for an Emmy? I love Match Game! I like the original Match Game, the 76 uh. one. It's so uh. good. I hope... Okay, Outstanding Writing. This is interesting. Uh, outstanding writing for a comedy series, Atlanta, B-A-N, written by Donald Glover. Great for him. Uh, Atlanta, Streets on Lock, written by Stephen Glover. Master of None Thanksgiving, written by Aziz Ansari. That's literally and next Wife. episode I have to watch. Uh, yeah. Silicon Valley, Success Failure, written by Alec Berg. Great show. Uh, Veep, Georgia, written by Billy Kimball. And Veep, Groundbreaking, written by David Mandel. I would like to see Donald Glover get... Everything. I'd like to see him get, at least for the writing. Because that show is written incredibly well. But I wouldn't be upset if Silicon Valley got one. Wouldn't be upset if Aziz Ansari got one. I heard that's a great episode. I haven't watched it yet. So next I episode I gotta watch it. Yet, so. My bad. Outstanding writing for a drama series. The Americans. Uh, Joel Fields and Joe Weisberg. It's a so smart. So good. Love it. Better Call Saul. Chicanery. Written by I, Gordon Smith. I didn't watch this season. I didn't like it. The Crown. Nobody cares. Handmaid's Tale. Offred the pilot of Handmaid's Tale. Crown. Uh, teleplay by Bruce Miller. The pilot of Handmaid's Tale was not my favorite. I haven't seen it. The pilot of uh, Stranger Things gets a nod, too. Oh, okay, sorry. Next up. Uh, Stranger Things Chapter 1, Vanishing of Will Byers, written by the Duffer Brothers. That's a good episode. <laughs> Westworld, episodes, Westworld, yeah. The Bicameral Mind, written by Lisa Joy. Oh, and Jonathan. The writing on Westworld God, is God, the writing. On I've seen Westworld. So good. It is. You should watch You gotta watch that, buddy. You gotta watch yeah, it's it. a great show. You gotta, you gotta watch it. So I think that's pretty much the major ones right there. See, I like, turn against you the second I can. The um, second I'm back in. So I think conclusions here we can see. Um, I think I'd really, I'd really like to see Donald Glover get some recognition kind of from the mainstream writing community. I mean, he won the Golden Globe, right? Was it the Golden Globe? For what? Yeah. Atlanta. He won For a, Atlanta? He won yeah, the prize Globe. was the role I, in Spider-Man. I, mm -hmm. I think he yeah. should get the, the Emmy. I think I think he should have an Emmy because Atlanta is really good. If you've seen it, it's it's fantastic, and he has worked for a long time as a TV writer, um, and that's actually his like honestly his focus. And the doing Childish Gambino was not his focus, and he's apparently he's done doing Childish Gambino. Yeah, he said the next album's his last, which very excited for that. Not to be his last, but the next album. High five. Um, 
Other than that, Billy on the Street I'd like to see win. That's a new comer yeah, to, I like to things. Yeah, I like Billy Solid. No Impractical Jokers, but it's what it is. Uh... You're saying, this, <laughs> this is the hot take from Angela Oriama. Impractical Jokers is funnier than Billy on the Street. Yeah. That's your take. I think it's the funniest show on TV. Really? Mm-hmm. Even funnier than the nightly news? <laughs> it's a joke. Okay, Ian, so you have a story. Do I? Yeah, you, you said you have a story. You said you had a story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you said you don't have to keep Do going, I? right? You told me about yeah. like, the jokes. I've had a realization in life. So, yeah, the, oh, Jesus. Um, no, my uh, story is you double down on things. Okay, so yeah, I've yeah. been, like, trying to go twice as hard with, like, my jokes, even, like, it's been a weird process, and it's not working out, but I'm gonna double down. And, and he used to say the opposite whenever, like, news was coming on, where, like, John Tron or something, and they would double down, and he was always like, you never double down. Like, he was, like, instilling that in me, and then he does it. And now you always Just like 21 down. Pilots. Wait, wait, it's wait, not wait, the same. Wait, wait, wait. It is the same. What's the whenever pilots? you say not to do it. Did He'll John do Tron it. double down? Going back to that real quick. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Oh, he did. That's right. And he has never come out and apologized or anything. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. What's, the, what's the 21 Pilot story? Uh, so this is kind of like Poe's Law, where you make fun of the joke for so long that you become the joke. So 21 Pilots are a bad band. Yeah. But they have music that's really bad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I do is I thought that it was so funny. The lyrics are just like, I didn't like it. So I learned the, all their songs, a bunch of their songs, and I learned all the words to make fun of it when it did come on. And then I realized at one point, later, like, later, uh, rather than sooner, <laughs> that I've memorized all their music. That you're a fan of the band. That you I've tangentially. Ironically became 21 Pilots' biggest fan. You and are it, the 22nd Pilot. You're like, no. yeah, it's hilarious. I got front row seats at their concert. They I, suck, but I just, and, I wanted to meet them backstage and, and like, I, kiss them. And I cried after them, them, but ironically. I haven't yeah. washed my hand that they shook my hand. <laughs> I would never do that, like, oh, but so it's weird. all ironic. I, I, that's the thing, and I really... I don't know why I did In, that. Interview time, what's your favorite 21 Pilot song? Uh, car Radio, definitely. Because it is one of the worst ones. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that their, like, biggest song? Yeah, yeah I think so. No, I think Heathens I like, would be there. I think Heathens, like... Uh, I think like, stressed out at this point, right? No, I'm dead out! I hate that that's song. What you time, back time! <laughs> to the good old days! My mama won't talk, man, that they find that way, that they... We used to play pretend, give each other different names, and we would build a rocket ship, and then we'd fly the far He is the 22nd pilot. He, he used to make fun of just that first bit. He said, wake up, we need to make him. money. <laughs> <laughs> he just smashed him in your face. Oh, 21 Boy, pilots. oh, Berto, am I right, boys and girls? I'm just changing my desktop background now to Dr. Manhattan. Oh, why is he jerking off? Oh, yeah, I Jeez. edited some of it. It's just... The, I know it's kind of the proportions are weird, but I wanted to see him have a sex your with penis. A <laughs> yeah, I, photo, I photoshopped my penis into the Doctor Manhattan picture, and but it's not even his penis; it's just in the background. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why would you do yeah, that? I, that's, that's I thought I would put it on like, top right of his penis. He, uh, There's no Doctor Manhattan there. It's just, it's just <laughs> a picture of my penis. And my his penis' his name is Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> you I, juked me again. You what? Juked. Juped? Juped? You juped? You juped? 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 Nope. Juped. 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 That's one of those words that Juped. sounds like a bad word, but really Might isn't. Juped? Look you it up. Jipping someone is uh, offensive, apparently. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Gypsies. That's what that means? But who? Name one gypsy that you actually know. Romani. Say Romani. Who's that? Gypsy. You can't say you can't say the word gypsy. They're gonna show up. Yeah, they're gonna come. <laughs> Beetle, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Stop their saying it. <laughs> gypsy, Gypsy, Gypsy. Actually, there is a so there's a Netflix show starring Naomi Watts coming out called Gypsy about a therapist who takes advantage of her clients, and I love Naomi Watts because she's in all the David Lynch stuff. But who's gonna watch that fucking show? You don't watch any TV. Well, I would watch that, and I'll watch Bridget Jones's Baby again. Is that a TV? I thought it was a movie. Doubling down. <laughs> In a way, I Definition. think Bridget Jones's Baby is like a TV show, the way it's structured, mm -hmm. because it is feels it? like it goes on forever. <laughs> <laughs> that's not where that's <laughs> That's what they're intending. Oh, that's funny. And so, yeah. I've never seen Bridget Jones's Baby. Have you? I've never seen any Bridget Jones. What's any your favorite Bridget Jones movie? 
I'm Which, a big fan isn't of... Isn't that Renee Zellweger? Yes. No. I turn to the camera as if there's someone standing there like, Is that no, right? isn't it that? Isn't Is that, that Renee? the one? Is it Renee Zellweger? Um, mm. Name an actress you think is dead now. Paula Abdul. Yeah, I think she might be dead. Not an actress. Prove it. She was. <laughs> I can't, you're right. Why do you think Paula Abdul's not an actress? She's not in any movies. Yeah, name one. <laughs> Name one of which she's not in. <laughs> <Yeah>. Good luck. <laughs> what if I accidentally named the movies that she happens to be a part of? Um, what are you doing? Iron Man that? 3 made a billion dollars? Yeah. We were went for Every Shane Black movie in the world's made its money back four times. Okay, I have an actual subject. Although Shane Black movies are good. 28 likes in an hour. We dropped them. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> I have an actual subject, and this is one of my favorite subjects to talk about. It's technically about music, but one of my favorite subjects to talk about. It was, what is the first album that you bought with your own money? I know this answer, and you're going to laugh. <clears throat> I, but I love it because your answers are so bad. I'll start with mine to give some context as to who I am. I was mowing my grandma's lawn and got $20, and I knew as soon as I got that $20 in my hand that the first thing I was going to buy was the Weird Al Yankovic album, Straight Outta Linwood. That's not a bad album. I love that it's album. It's a great album, and that was the first album Canadian I ever... Idiot's one of the very first songs I bought on my iPod. Yeah. Weird Al, for some reason, is like the icon of millennial nerds. I love it. Like, you will album. always at some point gravitate to that. I'd Are you saying that you didn't? I, 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 I love Saga say, Begins. I was going to say. Especially. Every, like, young little nerd boy out there mm -hmm. just loves him some sexual weird ass. Staring at Haley. Every little nerd boy. All the boys and not women. Angela, what was yours? First album you ever bought with your own money. <laughs> I'm trying to um, I have my answer if you need a thing. You need a second? I think it was, like, Death Magnetic from Metallica. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh. That is, is uh, not what's a... that Lou Reed? Lou Lou? <laughs> yeah. Where he is the table? Yeah. I wasn't a big fan you of You know, you get that reference, right? No. Oh, uh, that's well, a, wait, that's a, it from? From the, the song The View off of Lou Lou. No one's I, that. I know stuff about Metallica now because uh, thanks to Daniel Cruz, my brother, he uh, got me into Metallica. So. Mm -hmm. It's a good band. I'm sad that Still good. Death Magnetic's the one you bought because I think it's the worst. Well, that, that was the... Oh, the worst though? There's some bad ones. Saint Saint Anger everyone is bad. Everyone says Saint Anger is bad, but I think Death Magnetic is worse. I think oh, Death Magnetic is fine. I yeah. had that album actually. The thing is that I got well. The thing is that I got um, Ride the Lightning is my favorite. But I, I think that's that would, on my birthday I got Master of Puppets and that's my favorite. Ride the Lightning for my birthday, and so then with money I went out and bought Death Magnetic. So I had three albums in like a two-day period. That's great. I mean, you ever think you get burnt out on Metallica? I haven't listened to them. I don't I haven't listened to them like a lot. Yeah. Time. I listen to them recreational every once in a while. Um, I think my very first album. I remember. Oh, I, I I think I honestly know the answer to this question for yeah. you. I think I've asked you this before. Yeah, I bought a CD. I was very very young, very young, and I. Um, this is your money. Yeah. Okay. It was uh, in syncs under the uh, no strings attached. I That's know badass, that. actually. That's cool. I'm down with that. And I, I learned about like Space Cowboy and stuff. And, God, like, I love Boy Band. Uh, bye, 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 bye. Yeah, I loved it. There's something about it. In sync was. Was that larger than life? Or is that a different I, one? I think, I think it's, it's its own album. I think it's no strings attached. It's the one where they're on the cover. It's orange, and they're like this. Yeah, it's oh, over shit. there. It's literally like That's, sitting over there. I got Can you go grab it? Backstreet Boys is larger than life. Not. NSYNC. Can I go grab it? I no. Yeah. Love Backstreet I'll go grab it. Yeah, go grab it real quick. That's the first album I, I bought. Oh, okay, um, Back Backstreet Boys or or In Sync. In Sync. Backstreet Boys. But that's I like the members of In Sync. Mm -hmm. like, no, yeah. Like, I uh, like the members. JT and then uh, what's uh, his face? This, like, album oh, Joey Fatone, I love too. Uh, yeah, no oh strings God. attached. This was the first album I bought, and look how good oh, it is. That's good. It had classics. Look how worn it is. I know, <laughs> it's used cool. it a lot. Uh, bye bye bye. It's gonna be me. Space Cowboy. Uh, just got paid. It makes me ill. Oh, that's no a strings good attached. album, actually. Wait, Bring into I... noise, and that's when I s I'll stop loving you. I thought she knew. I'll be good for you. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, oh, this is film. great. Yeah. Wait, who's it by? No, okay, yeah. so I'm pretty sure it's the movie soundtrack from an Amanda Bynes movie. <laughs> the one where she goes to, like, uh, Great Britain. Yeah, okay, so that's Cadet Kelly. No, that's Hillary Duff. <laughs> <laughs> the one where she goes to Great Britain. Is it Cadet? Is Cadet yeah, Kelly Hillary like, Duff? Yeah, it's like, 
she's like. I know what you're talking about. She's the by girl like. Or something. She's the man? No, no, that's a different one. That has Channing Tatum in it. Scroll down. Does it really? Scroll down. I'm going to her Wikipedia horn. Like what, what a girl, girl wants. wants. What a girl wants. What a girl wants. And Mel Gibson's a I dad. had the movie soundtrack to that. I didn't really have my own money as a kid. So that's what I spent it on. This is Justin's thinking. Wait, isn't it? It's not Mel Gibson. Maybe it's not. First and foremost. Oh, it's Colin Firth. That's my... right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same person. Right. Same. Yeah. Is Justin a very religious man? Justin Timberlake? Yeah. I don't know. First and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing me with every gift. At the time, at least, they had to Dear be, Heavenly like, Father, lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Please thine stop. is the, king, the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. Forever. Amen. That's the Lord's Prayer. Yeah, and then he rips off. Oh, the <laughs> tip. Of, tip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, he, so he that said, leads us. That, right that honestly leads us to a good question. So, we know the first albums we bought. What was the first movie? Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, I remember. I our right, own okay. Money, it's not even not even that you bought with your own money, but the first one you remember, like physically being like, "I this is a movie I have. I'm gonna watch like that. I love." I think it was Spider Man for me. Spider Man one. Mm-hmm. Don't tell Harry. Don't tell Harry. Hell yeah. That's a yeah. I man. remember going to the store and just like holding it. Mm-hmm. I didn't let anyone else hold it. Hell while yeah. I remember going to the store. <laughs> That's such a good movie. This Don't kid. tell Harry. One of our many slogans here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love that meme here. Um, Eight-Legged Freaks. Okay. Really? Yeah, I, I went and rented it at Family Video four times in a row. I'm going to look that up real quick. <laughs> Eight-Legged Freaks? Yeah, I don't... Don't know if I remember that very you well. You will. God, I am struggling. It's hey, one don't, of the... Don't look at this. <laughs> Thanks, man. There's a two? <laughs> no way. Angela's very afraid of... I am very, I am very afraid of spiders. Oh my god. It's a horror comedy. It's got, look! David Arquette. When David Arquette is headlining your movie. But Scarlett Johansson's in it. I remember. I love that movie. <laughs> so, when I was, it was my 10th birthday. Very specifically, it was my 10th birthday. And I was deathly ill on my birthday. Like, I was super sick. And so I was, like, stuck in the bathroom during my whole birthday. And I remember my, I, like, I came out of the bathroom finally. And I was, like, you know very sad and upset that I couldn't do anything on my 10th birthday. Um, and my parents handed me a copy of Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Aww. Dreams. <laughs> and they were like, happy birthday. I watched the shit out of that movie. I still love that movie. Spy Kids 2 is great. Steve Buscemi. His that starring first role. Spy Kids movie I watched. I didn't his watch first the starring first role? Before. His, no, his, <laughs> his first. The one he's most famous for. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, so, what about you? Um, I think that the, I know that there's other ones like more kid focused ones, but I was obsessed with dinosaurs when I was a kid. Yeah, same. It's like an unhealthy level. Like I, I have a bunch of stories about that. Disney. But like I was watching, I watched a documentary with my aunt when I was over at her house, and then she proceeded to eat, mail it to me, like the DVD version, it was when dinosaurs roamed America. It's narrated by oh! John Goodman. Mm-hmm. Pretty dope. I, I, that's the person I remember. You know what like, movie seeing. I saw a lot was um, weird, weird fact. He has a lot to do with dinosaurs because he's in like the new Kong movie. But he was also in uh, Dinosaurs Take Manhattan. Look it up. Oh, we oh, I'm watched pretty sure it. that's John Goodman. Didn't we watch we're bad. That? We tried to. It's really bad. Oh, it's really bad. Dinosaurs Take Manhattan. We're gonna figure it out. I'm pretty sure that's, that's kinda, the name. No, it's We're Back. We're Back. Yeah, We're Back is not bad. It's look up the reviews for it. John Goodman, Jay Leno, Ralt, Walter Cronkite, yeah. Julia Child, and Martin Short. Yeah. Look, up, look up how it was panned. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Emotion reception. 38% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Roger Ebert had this to say. It's a shallow and kind of dumb. <laughs> and the animation is routine and the story isn't much. And the stakes are a lot higher these days in a feature-length animation game. So a video game. Wow. Feature-length animation game. Roger Ebert said it and that's what it is. Uh, okay, so... Steven I, the dinosaurs turn evil. I love... I. It doesn't say what the budget is, but it only made a 9.3, and it's listed as a box office bomb. What do you think it made? How much it cost? I mean, no, go up, go up, go up, go up. Yeah. It made 3 million. It's so opening it, weekend, opening weekend. Oh, right 9 million, so yeah, you're right. In the U.S. Keep, keep going up. How much? Keep going up. Production. $140 million years. to make Sounds it. like it made it back. Wow. Well, That's not true. That's that is... A I watched the movie. It's the first billion dollar movie. 
Yeah. Tim and Eric's billion dollars. Yeah. I love that movie. I couldn't get past the penis scene. Oh, really? Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie. That was before I was super into them. Go watch that. I, I was watching that with my family. Uh, <laughs> they pierce his erect penis. Yeah, it's they yeah. give him a Prince Edward piercing, which is like him through the hole. I was watching with my family, and they all went, "We're not watching this anymore, Ian." And I said, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> and he, so they, also, in the same scene, they cut his arm off. They're talking about like crazy things they're gonna do as like their one night, like their last night before they like become serious. And he's like, "I'm gonna cut my fucking arm off." And so there's a part where they're in like a tattoo parlor, and he just strapped his arm down. And he's like, "Ooh, ooh!" And the next shot is like a buzzsaw going through a guy's arm, and he's like. Ooh, 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 oh, ow, ah. Oh. <laughs> Tim and Eric is the best. Um, what other movies do you remember but you don't think other people remember? I think that's a good topic. Oh, speaking of David Arquette, a movie called Sea Spot Run. Never heard yeah. of it. I love that movie. This movie is garbage. Let me see it hit me real hard. We'll put it up on the thing. Well, you'll see it. I don't think this is going to be a fireside. I think this is yeah. going to be something else. Yeah, I had that on VHS. This movie is terrible, but I, I remember it was passing so that purposely on Blockbuster every week. <laughs> this came out on my birthday, March second. That's my birthday. You want my social security number too? Uh, March second, two thousand one. It came out. Budget sixteen million. It made forty three million dollars. <laughs> this movie is terrible. <gasps> I got one. I got one. Uh, a rate a two a twenty three percent. I have the movie years. after you too because I've got one. Pre-hysteria. It's a movie about a bunch of dinosaurs. What the fuck did you grow up? <laughs> Wait, I got. It's not on Wikipedia, so that's a bad sign. <laughs> it's not a thing. It is. Okay, pre-hysteria. It's these bunch of little dinosaurs, and they come. Yeah! To <laughs> I've seen that so many times. Best yes! friends. And so basically there's this one scene where the dinosaurs are creeping in a room while the dad is making out with some babe and I thought it was so hot and I rewinded it over and over and over again. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh. I love dinosaurs growing up. So Pretty hysteria! Did you ever see Dinosaur, the Disney film where they're yeah. like, oh my god. Al I've seen that uh, one. Al not <laughs> Alan. Alan. Aladar. Uh, Alan. This, that's so obscure. Pretty hysteria! What the fuck? 10 out of 10 would watch again. Is, I wonder if that movie got critically... Is Remember Spirit? Yeah! yeah! I got that in the theater! I got that in the theater! I saw that! Spirit, I had that DVD. I got Spirit, so legend. mad because the horse didn't talk. Is Spirit Legend of a Cimmeran? No, he could Cimmeran. Cimmeran. Who is that? Spirit Stallion of the Cimmeran. I wonder why it didn't make money. I liked it. I saw Matt, Matt Damon! Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon? Matt Damon. And James Crumb. <laughs> Jesus, James Crumb loves and everything. 69 on Rotten Tomatoes. Box office 122 million. <laughs> oh my god. Spirit I saw brings in the, the money. It's a it's not a bad movie. It just uh, Is that him holding him took, underwater? Yeah, he took him in the back to the pond and he murdered them. That was one of them. And then he's like, oh, I'm on an island, and this is a psychiatric hospital, and it's a tie into Shutter Island. Oh, but with Jason Lee with the Shutter Island, my name is Earl Crossover.